My name is Gilzer. I work as manager, data engineering, and I give a managed engine for desktop central review of four out of five stars. And for more details, please click, click below. Before we went with the managed uh, engine for desktop central, uh, the, the organization was operating all of the, the client workstations on a standalone mode. So all of the service pack installations and the, the patch installations and stuff were done uh, on a standalone basis uh, in, in the individual workstations. And it was not only time consuming, but also uh, gave a very tough time for maintenance aspects as well, uh, which was the core reason why we had to choose for a centralized node of installations. And that's when we handpicked Manage uh, Engine for Desktop Central. When we were uh, uh, piloting the, uh, the tools that were needed for uh, maintenance of all of the software installations from one nodal zone, uh, we figured out that uh, uh, Managed Engine for, Engine for Desktop Central not only supported the uh, laptops and workstations, but also uh, 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 devices like phones uh, from uh, a remote location. So that was the key factor why we had to rely on managing the for desktop central. So from our, our corporate front, uh, there were different uh, employees who were uh, required to, uh, to be outside of work for the marketing aspects and for promoting the products that we were involved with. So it was vital that all the uh, the, the patch installations and the service pack installations not only happened on laptops but also on cell phones. So we wanted to rely on a, a tool that was not only going to act as a centralized repository to, uh, to serve as the installation point for all of these devices but also that could support multiple platforms. Uh, so after we chose Manage Engine for Desktop Central, we were not disappointed in any way. It served all of our objective and core needs to its utmost potent. So the Manage uh, uh, Engine for Desktop Central was uh, uh, relatively easy to get started with. So the, uh, uh, the administrative aspects of the tool to get installed on the nodal server was relatively straightforward. There were a lot of uh, documentations that were available on their website as well as uh, on, a, on Google search that assisted with ensuring that uh, uh, the key software uh, executables were installed in the main server. So even though there were certain um, challenges that we faced in terms of identifying the right ones, we were always able to find the answers on Google and on the website associated with managing engine for desktop central. So in a nutshell, it was a, a great experience overall, figuring out what the uh, uh, necessities were, but on an overall front, it was self-explanatory and it uh, served our purpose to a huge extent. So I would definitely say if you are uh, any um, uh, uh, small scale or uh, medium to high scale organizations, having uh, at least about 50 employees, and if you want to make sure that all of the uh, service installations and uh, software patches that are needed that needs to be in sync uh, definitely manage central uh, managing engine for desktop central is your option because it gives you a, an option to ensure that all of these uh, core installations take place uh, in unison and uh, on a synchronized way there is absolutely zero discrepancy uh, when it comes to the version of the software that you're looking for or the service pack that you're looking for, including the patch. And uh, it has a pretty uh, uh, stiff, uh, I would say, mechanism to protect itself from the routine vulnerabilities that could uh, um, uh, target your system. So uh, I would uh, uh, say if you are any anywhere, uh, if you're an organization that has at least uh, 20 or more employees that require a common form of uh, workstations and phones to offer support for any type of client, the Manage Engine for Desktop Central should be your first choice.